Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Exceeding Shadows Video Game Collection. On this episode, we're going to take on PlayStation 2 to see what games I got. And, well, I already know what it is, but you guys don't know. And you guys kind of want to know, because I've been doing this for a while. So, let's get started. Oh, and P.S., I have a bunch of WWE games, so just to let you guys know. So, let's get started. Okay, we got SmackDown, ver uh, Smackdown shut your mouth. We got SmackDown, here comes the pain. And that's actually the, like, games that was not related to the uh, 2000 series yet, so. Uh, X-Men Legends Rise of the Apocalypse 2. Fantastic Four, and yes, I got it for that exact much money. <laughs> uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. I gotta say, it's not as good as San Andreas, but it's still come somewhat kind of good. Just, just putting it out. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. That's actually my funnest, favoritest Mortal Kombat uh, game to, like, the new games from now. Uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. That's actually my other favorite game, but... Uh, they had to team up with somebody else, but if it's just Mortal Kombat by itself, I like Mortal Kombat, Mortal, uh, Armageddon. Uh, Nickelodeon, SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie game. It, the game was not actually all that based off from the movie. It was kind of, but not as much. But I like SpongeBob, and it was a really good game. And just look how epic it was, the cover. How can you not like that cover? It's SpongeBob. <laughs> so now we got Attack in the Power of Juju. Uh, the game was actually, it came out before the show, so people might think of, oh, this show, this, this show wasn't even that good, why did it make, like, two to three games? Uh, this game was actually before the cartoon show, like, a couple of years back, beginning of, like, GameCube, PlayStation 2 generation. Good-ass game, I gotta say that, um, it was so good, we had to make a TV show, but it didn't even last that long, I don't know why, I thought it was pretty good. And now the good game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, actually my favorite Grand Theft Auto game next to San, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, San Andreas was like the best game. You could do basically anything. Like, it was the game to have. That's pointed out. So now we got Jack 2. I don't have the other two games of Jack and Dexter or Jack 3, but Jack 2, I still kind of knew what was going on in the storyline. My friend had number 1. So I kind of know what's going on number one, so I can go right on to number two. And that's actually why I got the game, because I saw Jack 2 and he just had to have it. Family Guy video game and The Simpsons video game. These are actually, Family Guy never made a movie. Well, they did, but that's like the, the Star Wars thing, but nothing to do with the Star Wars. And this is just a game from the movie, but it has nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> so nothing to do with the movies. But they still made games, and it was still pretty fun. One's rated M, one's rated teen. One's more family-like, one's more adult-like. It's <laughs> funny that right there. Still fun game with TK and, uh, does that one? EA. Oh, okay, TK and EA. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, so, go to the next games. We got, uh, The Simpsons Road Rage and Transformers The Game. Simpsons Road Rage is the game that's based off kind of like Crazy Taxi, but Simpsons Edition. And The Simpsons, and, uh, <laughs> Transformers The Game. That was kind of based off, like, the, the show, so... Pretty badass. The game was actually really good, really badass at the time. Now it's like, eh, that's okay. Because now there's like War of Cybertron and like later on in the year, Fall of Cybertron, stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty badass, I gotta say that. And yes, it came with the bonus feature, so bonus disc, whatever. Uh, so now we got the beginning of the SmackDown vs. Raw games and Teen Titans. I heard, I heard my cousin. He's playing downstairs. Just to let you guys know. If you're seeing Wolf, follow him on... Not follow him on YouTube. Well, yeah. Yeah, go to YouTube and look him up. Exceeding Wolf 1 or something like that. Just a little shout-out to my little cousin. Uh, so, SmackDown vs. Raw. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at what he said. He's like, what the F? He's playing online on, like, 360. Um, this is the first game of the series. It was actually 2005, but he didn't label it that, but... That's actually the first one from the series. And then Teen Titans, that's actually based off the cartoon show on Cartoon Network, so it could be all if I say Cartoon Network, it could be on something else now. Um, I don't know how it is, because I don't have cable. Uh, I watched that show a bunch when I was a kid, or a teen, kind of like, I don't know. It was a really good game, and a really good show. So I gotta say that. Uh, Crash, Twin Sanity. You This time, you're not getting be beat up by a Vortex. This time... You're teamed up with Vortex, taking down somebody, well, I can't explain who, because it would be a big-ass spoiler alert, so I don't want to say that. So, let's go to the next game. We got Beautiful Joe 2, and 
One Piece Grand Adventure. Vitavo Joe 2 is the sequel game to Vitavo Joe 1, but I do not have Vitavo Joe 1. And uh, Vitavo Joe 1 was actually a launch game with Okami. Well, kind of a launch game with Okami, kind of. Gotta say it like that. Because <sighs> Okami was by the same people by Camcom uh, Clover Studios. But then, if you know what happened with Clover Studios, you kind of know what happened. If you don't, then look it up on Google or YouTube or something. Then you understand. And then we got One Piece. Um, this is actually my favorite One Piece game of, like, all time that I know of. Because they haven't really made any. They did make one that I know of on the Wii, but I've never really seen it again. It's not like one time, but I never buy it. I never bought it, so. Still a good game because you fight people you see in the series, but that's like the heart. That's like the, um, how do I say it? The American version of it, because the American version ended in season three. It never even went over, like, season four and the rest. So I can't say who's on it. I can say Brooke and, well, no, I don't want to say all, I'll say all of them, but pretty good series. I got to say that. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm kind of tired or hard. It's, and I'm not making sense as much. Ah, I'm not making sense as much. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ugh. So, Ratchet & Clank, Going Commander. That's the second game in the Ratchet & Clank series. If you're a big fan of Ratchet & Clank, this is actually kind of the hardest game for me. Not sure for you guys, but it was hard for me. And the cover looked badass, I gotta say that. Looks like a hole in the wall, this looks cool. Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. Uh, featuring ECW. This is the year when ECW came in. It's actually this year, that's why Bobby Lashley's in the corner. But you don't see him on but the, uh, the games anymore because it was like one or two years. I don't know. And he's not in WWE anymore. So. Uh, we got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. This is the game for the sequel. Budokai 1, which I have on the GameCube. Uh, just say this game is pretty good. I gotta say, it's so badass. You fight uh, Majin Buu and Super Buu, as you can see in the cover. If you've never played Dragon Ball Z, uh, this is actually not the game I want you to play. I'll tell you the game in like a minute or something. Uh, Nicktoons, Attack of the Toybots. I had to give this a chance. It, it's Attack of the Toybots. It's, everybody, I heard every single Nicktoon during that time was going to be in this game. So I had to get it, no matter what. And it looked really good, so. And it's really good as well, so. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is the game I was talking about. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. If you never played Dragon Ball Z Budokai games, or Tenkaichi 2 games, or Tenkaichi 2 games, Tenkaichi games, this is the game you should try out. Not number one, but number two. Then Ratchet and Deadlock. This is actually the fourth game in the, in the series of Ratchet and Clank. People actually say this is the best one they ever played of like PlayStation 2, other than the PlayStation 3, like uh, Crank in Time and Tools of Destruction and all that. But this game was really good. I I gotta give it like thumbs up. It's so good. I gotta say that. But there's like basically almost no clank in the game. He only helps you out. That's, but nothing in like a story mode like only like telling you stuff like like Navi like an Ocarina of Time basically. Um, so oops, we got Ratchet and Clank the first one. Actually, that was the game that got me all started in Ratchet and Clank series. It, I'm I'm so happy. Thank you, uh, I Sonic. Games or something like that, and Sony, of course. Thank you for showing this good game series. I love you guys. Just for that, not as much for like what you guys did for the Dreamcast. You guys suck at that. <laughs> if you guys know what happened to Dreamcast, a Sega like Dreamcast, then um, good for you, because you guys would know what happened to that. So we got uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi three. Hold up, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to do something. Someone was getting home, I don't want to interrupt me. So, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, think, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. The last game of the Budokai series, which was the best at the time. I loved it so much. Just look at the cover. Goku's going to punch you down the sides. It looks so good. Just saying it right there. And then we got Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2. This is the game that I liked the best when I was trying out Naruto. So, I'll just let you guys know. Oh my god, oh my god, it's Kingdom Hearts. SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, featuring ECW. I think that was the last year ECW was still around. Um, and Kingdom Hearts 1, that was the game that started it all. The game that started it all. It was the best at its time. It's still good now. People love playing it on YouTube. Lots playing and everything, but it 
has copyrights sometimes to it. So I don't know if you guys want to play it or not, but it's still there. There's Jack X Combat Racing. It has, it's not as close to the series game, but um, it's like Mario Kart, but it's way harder. I gotta say that. And then uh, we got Star Star Fox, Star Wars Force Unleashed. I had to get this game. It was so badass when I tried it as a demo. I had to have it. It was so good, and I was right. I I love this game. I'm thankful I got it. Uh, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. This game was actually the sequel to the first one on the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. Um, you basically race with new characters like Jet, Wave, and Storm with boards. And no, you're not racing with Sonic on his feet. He would just win automatically. Uh, we got Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. And yes, they're all three related. <laughs> okay, Tenkaichi 3 was the last, I think the very last game almost on the PlayStation 2, other than Infinity World, because I never played that. And Ultimate Ninja 3 was also the last game nearest to the end when they took out Ultimate Ninja 4, which I don't got. And um, these two games were like my best games at that time when these came out. They basically came out around the same time. I played both of these two like nonstop. It was the best. I love these anime kind of shows. And the last two on the uh, cases. Yes, I have more other than cases. SmackDown vs. Rochas in 10. I know there's 2011 now, but I don't have it. But um, this game was actually pretty good, but I didn't play all of it, so I still need to beat the game. And in Shadow the Hedgehog, I did beat, and it's by my favorite company, Sega. And I ha I'm i exceeding Shadow. You have to have a game related to Shadow the Hedgehog. Or a Shadow name related game, like Shadow, Cro Shadow Coliseum or something like that. Shadow Crisis, Shadow whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But then now, let's go to the freaking games that have no cases, just the discs themselves. We got Naruto, Ultimate... No, no, or Ultimate. Naruto, Uzumaki Chronicles. Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh my god, you have to have this game. 1 and 2, it's the best. I recommend you guys having it. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi. Uh, this game I'd not as much recommend. I still want you guys to get, like, number 2. It's way better than number 1, just pointing it out. Uh, then we got Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. This is the third game in the series because I have every other game <laughs> that was on PlayStation 2. Other than size matters because I have it on the PSP, which I will get down to someday. Uh, Nick Tunes Battle for Volcano Island. Uh, I can't say it was all that good because I got this game after I got uh, Toy Bots, but it was still a good game. I gotta say that. Um. Okay, and yes, I do have another Kingdom Hearts game. Someone actually gave this to me when I bought Kingdom Hearts 1, because, uh, not 1, 2, because they thought I didn't have 1 for some reason. I was like, hey, you have 2? Oh, man, then you don't have 1. Here you go. So I got that one for free, so I don't know why. And then we got Virtual Fighter 4. This game, I, um, I got it for $2. Hey, it's $2. I had a hat. I didn't have to have it, but, you know, I gave it a shot. It was pretty good. I don't like it as much like a Street Fighter and other games like that, but it's so good. And then we got Need for Speed Carbon. I don't like it as much as Most Wanted, but it's still pretty good. I gotta say that. And now we're reaching the last five. Guitar Hero 2. Yes, I do have a Guitar Hero game. It's my only Guitar Hero game, and I only got this game because of a couple songs. It was like the best game at the time. People are not liking Guitar Hero anymore because it's the same thing over and over again, so we kind of understand what's going on. Uh, then we got Avatar The Last Airbender. This is actually based off the cartoon anime show. Um, all I gotta say is that's a pretty good game. Uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. Uh, I didn't get all that into it, but my cousin did. He said it was pretty fun. But I thought it was okay. I'm not sure. Uh, then we got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. I haven't beat the game, so I'm not all that sure. And Tony Hawk's down here, Jam. All you go is downhill. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, because I know I have like a couple minutes left, but, well, a minute left, but I kind of want to end it off, because I tried recording this three times, and I don't want anything else to happen. So please like the video, add a friend, subscribe to your friend, favorite it, and please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. And um, follow me on Twitter as well, Shadow964X, and Exceeding Shadow. And uh, I'll see you guys later on the next video game collection, which I believe I'm going into DS, I think.
or whichever. I'll see you guys till then.